Christ does not approve, Blake Shelton is slammed as a hypocrite for performing a song called Hell Right on The Voice, before wishing viewers a Merry Christmas. A few fans of The Voice are slamming coach Blake Shelton for singing a song with the word Hell in the title. On Tuesday night, Blake performed the song Hell Right with fellow country singer Trey Sadkins, and as the title suggests, the song uses the word hell quite a few times. But it was the use of the swear word right along Christmas well wishes that had a few Twitter users complaining that Blake, 43, is a hypocrite. The song, which was released in August ahead of the release of Blake's album Fully Loaded, God's Country, was written by David Garcia, Brett Tyler, and Micah Hardy. The lyrics are about getting into trouble, and include stories about getting rowdy, drinking to the point of passing out, and pretty girls. The chorus goes, hell right, hell right, everybody's throwing down on a Friday night. Somewhere in America, there's a bottle to burn and a fire to light slash and you ain't done nothing if you did it halfway. If you gonna raise hell, then you better damn raise, hell right, hell right. After the performance aired, some fans took to Twitter complain about the language. I used to like hashtag the voice but I think this might be my last season wrote a woman from Indiana. I am disappointed in Blake and Trace. I like them both, but I don't think we need more swearing to be cool and hip. Please be the integrity we need, because that wasn't. Others were especially offended by the language used in juxtaposition to Christmas well wishes. Very disappointed in Blake for singing a song like God's Country and then singing Hell Right and then even more disappointed that he sang Hell Right Tonight on The Voice and then said Merry Christmas to everyone, wrote another Twitter user. What a hypocrite Blake is and the whole production as a whole for that matter. Blake comes out singing Hell Right and in the same breath Merry Christmas all and God bless. What a joke. Wrote a third. Christ does not approve, said another. The criticism comes just weeks after Blake won a CMA award for his number one hit God's Country which comes from his album Fully Loaded, God's Country. While discussing his win, Blake opened up more about his spirituality, telling the Tennessean that he credits girlfriend Gwen Stefani for his renewed faith. I believe in God now more than I ever have in my life. The biggest part of that is just how, Gwen, came into my life and now our relationship, he said. If you take God out of it, it doesn't make sense. If you put God into it, Everything that's happened with us makes sense. The couple's religious beliefs were further thrust into the spotlight earlier this week when a source close to Gwen told people that the pair are ready to get married, but that they have to wait until the former No Doubt singer, who is a practicing Roman Catholic, gets her previous marriage annulled. Gwen was married to Gavin Rossdale for 13 years before they went their separate ways in 2015. Although they are divorced, if Gwen wants to marry Blake in a church wedding, she has to wait until the marriage has been annulled. 